What is up guys, I'm going to pick up where we left off in the last video, which was I just installed um, an ethanol content sensor in my uh, fuel line in between the um, hard line that goes below the car and the high pressure fuel pump. Pretty easy to do. Uh, well, I wouldn't say super easy, but it's doable for the average DIYer, um, absolutely. Um, and um, so today we're going to be, in this video at least, we're going to be putting in the Motive Flex Fuel module, which... I have somewhere over here I can show you guys real quick. So this little box right here is going to sit in the front of the DME, and then um, some wiring we'll have to do and repin some of the connectors in the DME. First things first, obviously make sure, please make sure um, your battery is disconnected, or else you can do some major damage to your car um, if it's not disconnected. Especially you know if your car is looking like this at all, <laughs> you know no intake manifold. Speaking of which, I probably should close off the intake ports, but who cares at this point? It's okay. Um, Nah, nah, who cares? If you're doing this, you should cover them up. You might cause some damage. I just know I'm in a clean area, so nothing really to worry about. Um, anyways, um, batteries are disconnected. Um, your car does not need to be in the air right now. However, if you just installed an ethanol content sensor, you probably car, your car will probably be in the air regardless. Um, so, enough of me talking. Let's get to business. Um, for this portion, we'll just be taking off the cowl, I believe. Um, I may have broken my cowl in half on an accident as you may be able to see there um, and it's covered in polishing compound but that doesn't matter right now um, we're just going to disconnect it which I think I just have like you know this box will just kind of pry off um, pretty easily and then there's the DME right there but we need to take off the entire cowl to fully, fully appreciate that so I'm going to get that off and then uh, take this cover off the DME and then we'll get started um, Motive does put a guide online about how to do this, so I'm going to be following this pretty closely, but I know for me, I usually like watching a video on how people do it, just to see it's, you know, a little easier, and, you know, some things are not quite as clear as they like, as I like them to be in the instructions, so, hopefully this helps you out. I saw one guy, made a great video on how to do it with an E60, uh, that maybe it's a little bit different for an E92, so, we'll figure this out as well. Alright, so I've got my very sad half cowl <laughs> off the car, and I'm just going to unlock the DME box, just by selling these two tabs. Uh, looks like that way, and then this way, and this lid should pop off basically, let's see. Careful not to break it, but yeah, it pretty much just comes off like so. Uh, we'll be focusing on the two main connectors, there's one on the right side and one on the left side. We gotta take both of those out, the two basically big black uh, blocks we can see there. Alright, so I figured out there are two sliding locks on either side of uh, the connector. So, there's one on the left side for the bigger connector, um, as you can see it kind of pulled out right there. And that side does not pull out at all, it's just right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's the edge of it, there kind of in the middle of the screen. So, basically just use a flathead screwdriver or something to pull that lock out. And then the entire connector can basically come out um, like this one is doing right now. And now we have the left side out. Do the same for the right side as well, we're working with the right side first. So the next steps are to unlock that uh, smaller connector all the way until you can actually pull this piece out. Put that aside for now. And then we can actually slide out the smaller block. Uh, it's actually the black color one, not the gray one. Outside of this connector, we can just pull it out. And then we can add the uh, green wire from the flex fuel kit into uh, pin 16, I want to say, of this connector. I'll confirm with you in a second. So in pin 16, I'm not quite sure if you guys can see this well with my uh, focus here. They're kind of, you can see a white wire with a purple stripe on it. We have to remove that first. So I'm going to use a pick tool I have and go on over here at the connector and just press the pin down. The wire should release just fine. And then it says to put some heat shrink wrapping or electrical tape around the connector. Uh, we won't be using that anymore. Uh, and then after we remove that, that's focused now. After we remove this wire, um, we can go ahead and put in the green wire from the flex fuel uh, wiring harness in the same connector, in the same pin, pin 16. Um, also, while we're here, I want to show you guys, here's the harness that comes with the uh, Motive kit. Uh, the Motive kit comes with obviously the Motive's little box over here, and then it comes with the main harness. So, um, all of these wires, this wire connects to the actual Motive box in the uh, DME box. Um, and then they have this long gray wire that'll go to the ethanol content sensor, which I have somewhere over there. Um, it also comes with a posi tap, uh, posi tap, whatever you want to call it. Um, for the uh, power wire in the DME, and then heat shrink tubing for some yellow wiring, which I'll show you guys later. Um, so to put this in the DME box, you're going to want to find a way to get the gray wire out of the box, preferably out of one of those um, channels. So I'm going to see how we can do that right now. All right, so wiring-wise, the only two wires that should leave the uh, DME housing um, are 
this gray wire which plugs into the ethanol content sensor. Um, you can either put this into one of the wire looms if or just big me and have it all messy and just leave it open like that. Um, <laughs> I might actually run it into my um, other custom sort of harness thing we made for my uh, manual swap. So I might run it in there um, along with that to the back um, and plug it in over there where the sensor is. And then also the ground wire which I have just going through uh, this guy to make a little slit in it. Same with that one. Uh, I'm going to repair those two with um, some silicon to ensure it's still watertight. And then that ground is going to go a loop you can see right here on the actual grinding terminal of this area of the car. Um, there's my light. I can show you guys that little guy right there next to the washer fluid tank. Now, our washer fluid spout. Now, this is how the E92 or E9X looks like. Uh, I'm not sure if the uh, 1 series and 5 series and all are exactly the same, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, but as you can see over here, I've got that pin rewired. The green wire is now in pin 16, and I have some heat shrink tubing over the white wire with the purple line. So, um, I will heat shrink that in the end when I have to heat shrink some other stuff as well. But um, that part is set, so we can actually put this connector uh, back in the housing, uh, the bigger connector rather, and plug that guy back in. We're no longer going to be messing with that one. So now I'll be working with a longer, uh, bigger um, connector on the uh, left side, the passenger side of the car in the US, um, but left side for me. And uh, we'll be taking out the black sub-connector over here as well. It's along with another one. I've already put the other connector back, as you can see. It's already back in place um, and all locked up. So um, do the same thing for this one. Just pull the black one out, and I'll, I'll uh, meet you guys when you have done that. The next step will be putting in the orange wire into pin 25 of this larger black connector. Um, it's on the side where there's a wire with a white, so it's a white wire with a blue stripe. Um, two slots from that is pin 25, so just go ahead and put that one in there. Next up, we've got to remove this yellow wire from pin 10, which I just have done right there. All right, now we got to do something kind of weird. So the flex fuel kit comes with these uh, this yellow wire off the harness with two ends. So the one with the pointy side, we've got to plug that into um, the wire we just took out of that, the harness in pin 10, and then plug in the remaining normal kind of pinned uh, yellow wire back into pin 10. So uh, also use some heat shrink wrapping in between. They supplied some, but it was kind of small, so I have my own. But uh, yeah, I'll be back to you guys when that's done. All right, got both those connectors back now, and we're left with a blue wire and a red wire, and then of course the uh, uh, wire for the ethanol content sensor, which I'll just connect that. That's not really a big deal. You guys smear that out too. And the uh, ground loop, which I already showed, you just connect to that one ground on the car. Um, if you have port injection, follow the instructions supplied by Motive. Um, they'll show you how to do that um, with the blue wire. It's something you need to do, but I'm going to ignore that because I don't have port injection. Um, I don't think you need to, but I'm going to put a heat shrink tubing around this and just kind of cap it off just so I can have it for later use if I do get port injection later on. Um, but the red wire is a power wire. We're going to be posi tapping this into um, one of the orange wires on the uh, green cable right here. So we gotta, first we got to take that green cable out or green connector out. So once you pull this entire green connector out, not just the top half, but the entire thing, we'll be posi tapping the red wire to the inner connection on the uh, bottom half over there. So that, that inner one right there. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll be doing. Here's the posi tap. If you guys are familiar how to do this, I'll show you real quick. So first off, we can unscrew the bottom end. Also, you got to strip some of the wire for the uh, red wire we're going to be using. Uh, now we're going to want to put the red wire that has already been stripped through the cap like so. There we go. I'm going to kind of fray up the wires just a little bit. All right, we'll take the uh, other side of the posi tap, just kind of put it in like so. Kind of got to cram it, and then we can uh, go ahead and screw it on pretty tightly. Okay, perfect. And the next side, let's undo the bigger cap. This side we use for the uh, wire that's already in place. So, see how there's kind of a slit in the cap there? We can slide this slit over the inner orange wire. Let me see if I can give you guys a better view. Okay, so we can slide this guy over the inner orange wire. Okay. Which way shall I have it facing? I'll have it facing this way. And then, where's our red wire? Here we go. Um, as you can see, on the red wire there's kind of a little bit of a pointy uh, needle kind of thing. That'll stab through the orange wire, and it will make a secure connection. And there's our completed posi tap. We can go ahead and put this uh, back where it came from.
I can tuck this box away in the first open slot over here. Kind of hide some wiring. Make sure it's all kind of snug. And then we can put the cap back on and put this all back together. Um, I'm just going to connect the uh, ethanol content sensor now. Can't remember if I already mentioned, but you will need to use flash the um, motive uh, module through MHD to make sure this works all properly. Um, uh, one more thing about tuning with the uh, motive module. Um, basically, after you purchase the uh, Motive Flex Fuel Pack on MHD, the Google Play Store or whatever, um, you have to reflash your car um, using whichever, I, I believe just version 8. I haven't tried version 9 and beta. I've, I was running version 9 beta uh, before, uh, but I'm not sure if that supports Motive yet. So I went back to version 8. Um, but you flash your, whatever your normal fueling is. So whatever like not ethanol is. So you, you flash, for example, I flash um, ACN 91 because I'm in California. So... Uh, Arizona, California, Nevada, 91 gas, um, stage 2 plus, I flash that, and then the car will automatically switch between ethanol and, um, and uh, um, you know, 91, uh, with, depending whichever you know, percentage ethanol I'm at, um, and only then will it show you the ethanol percentage in your uh, gauges, and um, it'll also show you, you know, ethanol content analyzer voltage and all that. Here you guys can see I got my gauges set up. I got a boost gauge in the top left, of course, and then I got some various temperatures and uh, low pressure fuel, which, I mean, it makes sense the car's not even on right now. Um, but uh, I did, did pound the system, so that's why it's at 47 psi. Um, go away, auto kit. Um, but uh, as you can see in the uh, corner over there, I got ethanol percentage, which is 47.5, which is pretty good. Uh, fuel mode's in two, and then uh, when I shut the car, basically just will automatically adjust depending on what you know ethanol concentration I have, which I think is fantastic. Um, super happy with this. I'm glad it worked out. Um, also, when you do flash this, it will be a longer flash. So, for example, when I did the wireless uh, adapter flash with my Android cell phone, I did, uh, I want to say, I think it was 10 minutes when it's usually about 2, so keep that in mind. Um, probably be a little longer with the cable, um, so also something to remember. Um, definitely have it plugged into a trickle charger, um, as we'd never know how long it'll take and the condition of your battery. So, um, but other than that, that basically wraps up this video. I uh, hope it helps you guys out. Not many videos on this. Um, so, time to put the car back together and then we should be good to go. Adios.